Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Breeze. Jay Breeze from the H. Let's get him back with another Mr. Cryer video. I was right to my Mr. Cryer. My son had some words for me. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to make sure I like, I'm going to subscribe, follow my social media, switch right down below. We're going to roll to the 400, to the 400, Jay Breeze fam. But anyway, y'all, uh, let's get to his reaction. This was requested by Zamaya Warren. You guys have a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Your boy is doing all right. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, guys, all you have to do is turn that bell on to subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you're subscribed. In order to be notified every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with the vibrating symbol. Also, guys, the word... In the yeah, I kind of trimmed myself down a bit. <laughs> This month, the day before Thanksgiving, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, keep your notifications on, and obviously leave a comment so I know who you are, especially <laughs> if you want to post on a piece of shout out. Also, guys, that's not the only giveaway that we're doing. We're also doing another giveaway the month of December. Three flat screen televisions. 60 inch, 65 inch, 75 inch. Bro, yeah. I don't even have a... I don't even have a, a television over 52 inches. It's not that I can't get one. It's just I really don't even care about it because it ain't, you know, it's not about the process. It's, it's about the, the results. Process. You always say that. That I'm very happy to have. But I do want to bless somebody with some of those items. Who knows? They may want to bless somebody with those items for Christmas or something or for a Christmas gift. How dope is that, bro? How dope is that? That is dope, man, to be able to just bless somebody like that. Also, I said earlier in the video, man, I was thinking about bringing back the prior family merch the month. Yeah, the, the hoodies, the shirts. The prior family t-shirt giveaways once a week on a Tuesday, but then you had a certain group of people who had to come in and mess that up trying to scam people. So, today, man, I got my little man, Dion, with me. Dion Cryer, a.k.a. Baby Cryer. You know, we are at the zoo downtown Houston. I think I brought Dion to the zoo a long time ago when he was like maybe two months old. He don't remember it, but not saying that he's going to remember this one either. Yeah, I've been to one. Last time I went to the Houston Circus was back in, dang, that's when I got like nine years old. That was like in 2004. Yeah, y'all live in Houston. It's getting, it's getting cool and cold because by next month, December it's going to get even a little colder, bro. If y'all live in Houston, y'all know. Degrees, and they wearing winter coats and boots down here in Texas. Back home where it get cold at, it gets like 10, 12 degrees. Ain't that right, Dion? Because they're Indiana. Dion. Because Mr. Cryer and them is from Indiana, so it's, it be snowing everything over there. Oh, anyway, man, we can go to the zoo, man. Um, I'm really, really excited. I really am excited. Um, Dion will not be able to remember this, but maybe one day when he get a little older, he will be able to sit back and say, oh, my dad took me to the zoo. Yeah, so I can't wait till he grow, too. Fish and see, you know, you guys know how I am. I love the water. I love being around boats and stuff like that. <laughs> so this is an awesome experience for me as well, as well as my son, too. A, a really awesome experience because I grew up loving fishing. That's always been my passion. Back home in Indiana, I wasn't always able to go to aquarium because I always had to work. 12, 15 hours a day. Sometimes I had to work weekends when I wanted to do stuff, but I also enjoy different types of fish, you know, like where they come from, salt water, fresh water, all that good stuff, man. So I'm finna great take my man's out of a seatbelt so I can put him in his walker and we're gonna get up in here, man. But um, stay tuned for what we're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me. Also, don't forget to comment, like the video if you enjoy this fish in aquarium video. We also had two choices today. I said, should we go to the zoo today? Or should we go to the aquarium? Now, the aquarium was a little bit further drive from my house than the zoo. But I said, you know what, what the heck? Let's do the aquarium today. And if it's the Lord's will, tomorrow, maybe we can get up and go to the zoo. Uh, depending on if the weather holds up for us. So, um, what else I'm going to say? Also, guys, people still asking, like, how do you get in these giveaways? It's real simple, guys. As I said in multiple videos, it's really simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Turn the bell on so you're notified and leave a comment. Because if you don't leave a comment, I can't shout you out for your channel. I do want to start shouting out YouTube channels. Hey, guys. Dion was not liking that. Uh, I was sitting there trusting on my intro, and he did not like it. He was getting cranky. And if he could talk, he probably would say, Dad, would you get me the heck out of this truck and let's go do the darn thing? <laughs> so anyway, we are here at the current, guys. Entrance. Oh man, I love the aquarium, bro. Because you know that's where I had my prom at at the, at the aquarium back in 2012 when I had my prom. 
thing, man. It was nice. It was nice in there. The turtles, fishes, man. It was nice in there, man. If y'all been to the downtown aquarium, if y'all live in Houston, y'all know. Look at that beautiful waterfall. You like that, Dion? Hmm? Dion, you like that waterfall? Look. It's beautiful, man. Look at that. They got the fish on the outside of the building and stuff, which is pretty awesome. They making a statement, man. You like that water, Dion? It's nice in there, bro. Dion, you like the water? Look at him. Say hi. Say hi again. Say, I'm at the aquarium with my dad. That's right. So anyway, we're going to go up in there. Oh, the line is not too bad. The line is not too bad at all. So, we are actually at the ticket booth. And I guess we have to buy our tickets. I don't know how much they're going to charge for me to get in. I don't know if they're going to, or how much they're going to charge. And they bring back yeah. memories, man, of uh, my prom. Uh, damn, bro. Oh, my God. He'll be 11 months. Today is, what, the 14th or 15th? He'll be 11 months. And... Dang, 11 months already. He already growing. He going to be one real soon. About another just over a week, man. So the 29th is coming back fast. But I'm really excited to get up in here. And I'm glad this line is not. Man, it's right. bringing memories. And bro, when I had my prom there, man, bring back so many memories, bro. See, look what I'm saying. It's nice in there, bro. Yep. They had turtles and all that in there, too. so awesome look how much he is infatuated oh my god there's a stingray right there too did you see that stingray Dion? look look oh oh man i hate stingrays man ever since he did that to um steve Irvin, man that stingray oh man rest in peace steve Irvin, man just like cash night said because of that darn stingray rest in peace to steve Irvin. oh man that's messed up he died from them stingrays oh Oh, it makes you upset. You see that thing, Ray? Look at him, guys. He is, he is so loving this, man. Look, Dion, look at that big old fish right there by you. <laughs> you like that? You like that, man? Hmm? You like what you're saying? Those are pretty awesome, aren't they? Those are awesome. Oh, look at that stingray, man. It's mm. huge. Oh, get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> Dion likes it. I know he likes it. Move on to the next area. Let's see what else we can find, man. We'll keep the camera on for a minute in case we run up to something really awesome again. There is so much to see. Uh, it's like nice in there, y'all. If y'all ever been to the downtown aquarium in Houston, it's nice in there. Dion, look. Are is those bluegills? Oh, I need to be getting some of them to take home to eat, man. I'm Mr. Cryer. <laughs> I was in Indiana. I wish I could catch bluegills that that was that big. Dion, you ain't been fishing with your old man yet, but one day it's coming. You see those bluegills? Dad eats those. <laughs> I've been all day fishing trying to catch a bluegill. I don't know if those are like grim bluegills, mm -hmm. but look at this right here. I don't know what that is. That's like a carp, but them other ones look like bluegills. What you think? You trying to get up and walk up out of here? What? Oh my God, guys, look at this. The turtles, you see? Look see? Fish I was no way. I saw a turtle, but I don't know. Oh. From a distance, like turtle. You guys don't remember. The alligator gar is one of the oldest living fish in the world. It almost resembles like a dinosaur. It's like, like the, um, the outer shell of them are sharp as diamonds. If you cannot, and this is like a regular traditional carp right here. A lot of people get the carp mixed up with buffalo. Um, but it's just a regular carp, they like bottom feeders. So if you guys ever heard the term bottom feeder, 
That's what a bottom feeder is. Trust me. Your boy Damien knows what he's talking about. I be out in the waters like that, you feel me? Anyway, Dion, you liking that? You see that nasty bottom feeder right there, man? And that right there is a dangerous fish right there for the other fish. That is a dangerous fish. And we got a turtle up there jumping. You know, damn, yeah, I thought I saw a turtle. I thought I saw it. You cook some fish with that? Hmm? You want to cook some fish with me? Yeah. <laughs> he said, absolutely not, Fox. I'm not trying to eat no alligator, dog. It's a bony fish, too. So anyway, guys, look how big this one is on top right here. And that's some... Yeah, guys, I was recently talking about this fish right here recently, how this alligator gar is literally, if you guys Google alligator gar, y'all going to be like, Pops know what he's talking about. When it comes yeah, I got to look that up and see that. They said that was alligator gar, okay. Giraffe, and I, even though a, a giraffe is not a, a, um, a water fish, it's like a, a brown animal. The alligator gar and a giraffe are the next best, is the next best thing to dinosaurs. Mm, interesting, fish, interesting. Five, one of the oldest fishing uh, dinosaur fish that exist in the world. And it's 100% facts. Mm. Yeah, you like with this? Hmm? You like that? Then we got your regular turtles. You can find them anywhere. It's like swamps, rivers, ocean. Yep. They're always hanging out on like reefs or cores and stuff. You know, I can't remember. Reefs or cores or something like that. But anyway, we're going on in. Oh, wow, we got some color in here, guys. Told you, it's nice and in the aquarium. It's nice. Y'all know I used to actually have a fish aquarium before I moved out here. Oh, yeah, I remember that, Mr. Cry. To keep clean, it's not believable. Look at Dion, guys. Look at his reaction. Guys, look at him. He's so infatuated with this. It's crazy. He's loving it, though. Oh, oh, oh. Dad almost fell. You like this fish, Dion? Hmm? Dion, you like that? Look, he is engaged too. He likes what he's saying. It's a very beautiful fish, man. But I was saying, I had a fish aquarium before I moved out here to Texas. And I'm not going to lie, man. Fish aquariums are so hard to keep clean. It actually takes a lot of work to keep a fish aquarium clean and upgraded, the maintenance. I used to have problems where like, I changed the filters constantly. But then, like a week or so later, the, uh, the, uh, when Now, you're in the driver's seat. Windows will start getting the algae on the glass and the inside glass of the fish aquarium. And then, like, the water will turn like a green. I will change the filters again. I will pour all this treatment in it. And it still would never help keep the water clean. So, I, you know, I was doing something very, very wrong when I had my fish aquarium. I do want another one, but I don't know, man. They just take too much work. Mm, you got to clean all that filter and all that up. I just don't get chance. Life of a fish. It's crazy. I know Dion really likes. He really likes what he's looking at. I'm not gonna lie. I can tell. Yeah, it's nice in there, man. That aquarium is nice in there. Right here. Oh my God! Look at this big old boy right here. Oh shoot! Look at this. Ooh. This camera does not do this fish justice. These things are freaking monsters. Mmm, you could tell. All this come out of the ocean. It's crazy, man. Oh, and they got a stingray inside. That's pretty crazy. Stingrays, how they Get out of my face. Gigantic fish. I wonder if they can get into it. Boy, he on swole. That's not very long with one of my legs right there. Like I said, the camera don't do really justice. You have to actually be here to actually see just how big that thing is. It is humongous. Yeah. So we're going to go on over to the next one. Get out of my face. <laughs> we're entering a forest. Blue rainbow fish. So I guess the one we can look at is a blue. Blue rainbow fish. I'm telling y'all, man. Downtown Houston Aquarium is nice. In the ocean, if they weren't inside of this aquarium, they probably would be used to actually other fish inside the ocean. Yeah, we had it for our prom. We had it upstairs. There was upstairs, but we had the tables, dinner tables for all of us. You know, we had a little dance floor upstairs for our prom. It was nice, man. Actually, feed off of them. So I was.
would say, and I mean, even at these aquariums, they actually feed these fish other fish. So, especially like the bigger fish. Oh my God, look at these. Now, this is definitely in the catfish species right here. Oh, I think, oh my God, is that an algae eater? Mm. One ugly fish. Mm. Those right there definitely look like that uh, Niles catfish. That's that yeah, that's a catfish. Uh, uh, Italy. Catfish, ooh. Like a shark, that's what it looked like. Look like sharks, that's what they look like. That almost looks like an aeroplane. The way that it's shaped, it looks like an aeroplane. If y'all Google what an aeroplane is, y'all will see that that's almost identical to an aeroplane. It actually might be an aeroplane. So, um, so yeah. Leon, are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying it? Hmm? You like what you see? Are you enjoying it, man? He said, absolutely, Dad. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, so a lot of these fish, I think, come out of the Amazon River. I could be wrong, but we'll see. I know, I know Dion is going to love this. All you, Dion, all you have to do is just look up. There's really, now that looks like a, a, a tarpon right there. A tarpon? I know it's a tarpon. or tarpon? You guys can actually Google that too. A lot of these fish, trust me, I know exactly what I'm talking about because I've been fishing for a lot of years. Mm. This fish right here, you can tell that they're not bottom water fish. The reason why I say that is look, they're mostly top water fish. You have to actually hold the camera up in an angle to even see the fish. And that's why a lot of people go out on boats because they catch like a lot of the top water fish because they swim on top of the water. So it's easy to really catch them with just like a crankbait or something. So this is what they call, in case people don't know, this is what they call a uh, uh, top water fish. Really easy to catch them. So. Yeah, I think this is a tarpon, guys. I could be pronounced wrong. It's either tarpon or tarpon. Then they got like, uh, that looks like a trevally. You got like three different uh, species of trevally fish, and they all almost look identical. But some of them got like like a different color tail on them. Now, I don't know what the heck this is chilling down here at the bottom. I see that? It's just chilling. It, it almost looked like a statue, but it's actually a fish that's just marinating. Hmm. I don't think Dion be too impressed by this one right here. I don't think my man is, a, is impressed by this view right here. So we gonna keep on going, guys. Ready, little man? Let's go. Okay, guys. This right here is extremely interesting. These almost... If I wouldn't have stopped there and looked at this, I wouldn't even know what I was looking at. This right here, the name speaks for itself. These are called upside down jellyfish. Mm. I guess they call them blind cave fish. Now, I don't know how true it is, but I heard jellyfish are extremely dangerous. Like if you go to any other beaches throughout the world, them testicles. Have, like these jellyfish signs up. Basically, if it's like a high jellyfish activity, and I don't think that they really allow you to go in the water when a jellyfish population is really high at certain times of the year. I could be wrong, but look at this. I'm trying to get like a close up so you guys can see this. It's crazy. It almost looks like a little, I don't know, I can't even pronounce it. They almost look like a little powdered donut though. Look at it. <laughs> they like little powdered donut. But they're real squishy. And I'm sure that you cannot eat that. I don't think, even if you could, I probably wouldn't even eat it. And these right here are, I'm not sure what these are. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so those are the upside down jellyfish. These are the blind hidden cave fish right here. I've never heard of a blind hidden cave fish until this time. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome right there, man. Pretty awesome. Now, this right here is a sight you guys definitely don't want to miss. Look at this, man. This is beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I don't even use the word beautiful a whole lot. But this, you know, like when it comes to something like this, as far as like aquariums, this is, oh my God. That thing just gliding through the water like I wish a mother would run up on me. <laughs> but this dude, Ooh. Jesus, can you imagine getting something like that? Bro. Of your fishing line? Look at that. That's a beast, man. Pour that up, boy. It's going to probably break the string and the hook and all that, probably. If you catch that with, with your fishing pole, it'll probably break the hook and the string, probably. Jesus. 
the detail that they put into these aquariums is crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. facts. It's not magic that delivers the holidays to you. It's the United States Postal Service. When you embrace someone you love, you're not thinking about ceramides, but CeraVe is. Oh, you like that? He ain't even looking at me. He looking right at these big old fish. He loving what he's saying, too. You see these big old, look at that big old black one. He, he, he darker than that, that man. <laughs> he darker than me, man. It's pretty cool, huh? You good, little man? Look at this. Man, this is why we will never go hungry. We will never go hungry in the world. I think, I think this is, this is not me being funny. I actually think God put enough fish on this planet for all of us to eat very good over and over again. Because if you notice, know man, we never run out of fish. We never yeah, run that's out facts. Of fish. God made sure that we can eat very, very well. If we don't have any chicken left, no pork chops left, no pigs and cows like that, God made sure that we got plenty of fish. Yeah. We're not going to starve at all. Okay, That's fact. We are entering into says conservation. Okay, we're heading into a different area, which is a whole lot more brighter. So I'm not for sure what we're about to be looking at. Um, there's really not any activity back here as far as people. So I'm going to just show you guys what I'm actually looking at. I thought maybe I might see like something out there, but like a lion or some. I thought maybe like it might be like a seal out there, but there's just too much grass. Or a lion. Yeah, there's like another waterfall right Yeah, there. it could be like a lion or a gorilla or something. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, he's he's not really cranky. He's not acting up. So I believe he's actually liking what he's actually looking at. That's pretty awesome, too. Dion? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bingo tigers. So that's what's supposed to be out there. I don't know why that's a part of a fish aquarium, but... Bingo tigers. So, hold on. Let's wait a second, guys, to see if we can see one out here anywhere. Because I do not see any activity, no movement. Now, the tigers could be out there somewhere, but maybe this is like that time of day where they're not really showing themselves. So maybe later on in the evening, once the sun starts to come down a little bit, maybe the tigers will come out a little bit more. So, we're going to cut this off and move over to the next side and see what we got. I don't know, guys. For some reason, at this part of the aquarium, I'm feeling like I'm not in the aquarium. Look at this. I'm starting to see like tiger, tiger stuff. Look at this above me. Even though it looks pretty dope. And I'm right, man. Look, there's tigers. Even Dion, he's even looking up like, Dad, what was going on? And there is a, like a fake tiger on the wall right there. So, okay, okay. We're coming into something different right here, guys. Well, I'm not for sure what we're about to see. Say, what's up, Tony the tiger? <laughs> Tony the tiger. <laughs> Oh, every 15 minutes. Thank you. But they're saying that that tiger comes out every 15 minutes, so we would not be able to say hi. Say we won't be able to see the tiger part right now. So 15 minutes would probably be really worth waiting. But look at the details that they put in over there, guys, to make all this as comfortable as they could just for tigers. It says, this temple is home to the bingo tiger. Hmm. Nero, Marina, and Reef. So they did, like I said, I couldn't imagine how much money they spent on these aquariums for all these details, people to come in to design all the stuff with the waterfalls and even like the details up there at top. I mean, that's just, that's that's pretty awesome right there. Guys, this is day number two, guys. Um, me and Dion was gonna go to the zoo today, but I was also gonna take Mia to the grooming center today. However, I stayed up so late because Dion wanted to stay up watching television all night. And I realized the mistake I made because I should have turned the television off, but I didn't. So I ended up missing Mia's grooming appointment today. I don't really like to put her on camera until she's well grown. Mia, hey Mia. Asking about Mia, like, how you doing Mia? So I'm like, let me show these guys Mia. Cause somebody, somebody think I got rid of my dog. Heck no, guys, Mia's never going anywhere. She's gonna always be a part of my family. Um, she will be three years old. What's your birthday, Mia? May 8th or March 8th? Oh, she is so May cute, 8th. man. It's not going anywhere. She is so cute. So, I do apologize because you have not seen my baby in the videos. So, you guys will be seeing her in more videos. Ain't that right, Mia? Everybody missed you. They all missed you. You want to say hello, Dion? 
Say hello. Say hello, vlog. Say hello, little man. She see he see me. Dion had this phone. I'm gonna tell y'all something, guys. He see me. When me and Dion, when me and Dion, Dion, when me and Dion left the zoo yesterday, we end up going to Popeyes because you know, like I had an eating thing, so I ended up getting me like the three piece mild, uh, three piece chicken set mild, and I got a red bean and rice, and I got a small mashed potato with gravy. I decided to eat the red beans and rice and the chicken. I saved the mashed potatoes for Dion. He loved the mashed potatoes. He ate almost the whole entire thing. So what I did was I refrigerated the rest of it last night and I just microwaved the rest of it. So I'm going to feed him the rest of the, the uh, mashed potatoes. And I didn't even, you know, like he really loves that. So it's like something for me to think about. I want to start learning how to make homemade mashed potatoes because I don't really know how to cook them. Um, also, guys, um, I got the green light where I got permission to actually go ahead and move forward with painting my kitchen because I do want to do my cooking videos in there. Um, so that's going to be something very exciting that I'm ready to do because I am going to be bringing cooking videos back to you guys. I'm going to see if his potatoes are cooled off yet. I have to put them in the freezer because I put them on two minutes. Is you trying to get in Dion's playpen? Hmm? Mia, Mia. You trying to get in this playpen? You can't get up in this playpen, man. You can't do that. Look at Dion. He's like, what is you doing? What is you doing? <laughs> what is you doing, huh? And look, as usual, look at this. Look at this. Girl. Local nuts. Never changes. He loves his shows. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you love your shows, little man? Start living the plus <laughs> life with Black Friday deals all month long. Only at Contone Plus. Mia, Mia. Don't you? You love your little shows, hmm? Say, so, yeah. You ready to check like that? See if your potatoes are um, cooled off yet, man. So, guys, I had to put uh, Dion's uh, mashed potatoes in the freezer because I had microwaved them for two minutes and they were just a little bit too hot. So, I'm going to feed him a little bit of them. Huh? I had to take Dion to the store with me this morning, guys, because... He had baby formula here, but he didn't have a whole lot of baby formula. That can stuff cost like $18 a can. So we had to go to the store this morning, buy him some more baby formula, and get him some more bottle of baby water. His mom told me do not give him any apple juice because it gives him the runs. So I got him some more baby water. So guys, Dion ended up almost eating that whole entire thing of leftover mashed potatoes from Popeye's last <laughs> night. And I had to, you know, I put him back in his playpen so I can come in my office to finish, you know, doing some stuff in here. And he was cranky, so I went there and got him out of his high chair, put him in his playpen, and he just acted a fool. And I'm thinking that he wanted to, this boy just took off. I'm thinking that, you know, he wanted me to pick him up and hold him. I picked him up and hold him. He's like doing this, mm -mm, making his, he's like shaking his head, mm -mm. I'm like, what do you mean, mm -mm. And I had to put him in his car and look at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want no, you ain't got nothing to say to nobody, huh? Dion, you ain't gonna let dad work, are you, huh? You just not gonna let me work, are you? Oh, you want to <laughs> Really? <laughs> so you just basically come in my office. Aww. <laughs> you come in my office just to torture me? Dion, really? Seriously? Come here. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, guys, <laughs> we had a very, very weird kind of day to day, man. But it's cool. Look, look, look. He's he going to just do it. <laughs> just. Mm -hmm. Kids. <laughs> we had a kind of weird but interesting day to day. Again, man, I want to just say thank you guys for watching this video, man. Before I end this video off, man, I want to get a huge shout out to Gangster Emoji. Gang, 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 congratulations, Gangster Emoji. You are today's to a shout out. Also, I want to also say um, to M. Samuel, um, I just want to say thank you for the encouraging words, M. Samuel. First of all, I want to say thank everyone, you know, for all the positive, you know, feedback and, and all the stuff. But M. Samuel said something in my last two videos in the comment section um, that was so inspirational to me. And it was something that I was doing or saying in the last couple of videos, but I didn't realize it until she rung her to my attention, not in just one video, 
but in two videos. And so I just want to say, M. Samuel, thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, but anyway, guys, y'all have a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Dion, you want to say, you want to say bye? <laughs> oh my God. Dion, Dion, say I'm playing in my car right now, Dion, Dad. You want to say anything? No, I'm playing my no. car right now. <laughs> oh, he's doing one of my moves now. There's nothing to talk about. I'll be like, I have nothing to say. There's nothing to talk about. You got anything to say? Or is he going to just be like, there's nothing to talk about? You don't even, Dion, do you want to say bye to the vlog or anything? Huh? Do <laughs> you want to say anything at all? Anything? <laughs> He said, leave me alone, Daddy. <laughs> and yeah, this was Mr. Cryer and Dion. My son has some words for me. <laughs> Mr. Cryer with these titles, bro. And y'all make sure I like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media, screen right down below. We're going to roll to the 400, to the 400. I'll see you in the next reaction. Peace.